What's up you guys welcome back to another tutorial today we're going to be doing a burst fade a mid low burst fade on this frohawk really quick these are the steps first guideline from the middle of the c cup dip it down towards the end of his ear we're going to open up the lever create a first guideline then we're going to attach our one guard open up the lever and create another guideline blend both lines out to get this end result right here the first guideline is the most important part of this whole haircut. Identify the C cup area right there that I just outlined with the black marker. And we're gonna take it from the middle of the C cup and we're gonna dip it down towards the back of his ear. That's gonna be the first guideline. If you guys haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please hit that sub button guys. I just hit 10,000 subscribers. I really appreciate all the support that I've been getting in the channel. And also, you know, I, I was going through a lot of uh, errors um, in terms of the focus on my camera. I recorded like four tutorials in one day and this was one of them. I did have difficulties with this tutorial on the focus. So I just was trying to go above and beyond for you guys to explain it because I had to cut some clips out. And right here after we take the bulk down, I went in with my babyless skeletons and I took down the bulk. And then now I'm going to do the C cup area that I outlined with the black marker in the beginning of the tutorial. Just kind of just graze it down with the corner of your skeletons. And also before you guys do any C cups, make sure you guys address it with your client and make sure that they want a C cup. For this tutorial, I did the C cup and uh, my guy was like, I don't want a C cup. But then he was like, you know what? It's all good. It's all good. It came out fresh. So I just outlined the C cup area and I go in and I, and I clean the back side of the neck just so everything can be a lot more clean. Then I go in with my 1.5 guard just to create a nice base so I can go in and open up the lever and create my first guideline with my lever open which measures the half. The reason why I went in with my 1.5 guard it wasn't to create a guideline. It was my first time cutting his hair and it was really tricky so I just wanted to make sure to just take down the bulk so it can be easier to set my first guideline. The way we erase the first guideline, that's the first guideline, it's with the lever open. We're going to put our lever in the middle, attack the guideline in the middle, open it one notch, go higher, open it all the way, hit everything and then repeat the process of closing it, putting it in the, in the middle, opening it a little bit more opening it all the way and hit everything and just keep repeating that process until your guideline your guideline is completely erased so that's closed i'm gonna put my lever in the middle and attack the guideline in the middle like i just demonstrated for you guys i didn't get the best angles my hand was in the way but just so you guys get the idea put the, your lever in the middle and when you guys are blending you guys have to only use the corners of your clippers don't use the whole blade because that's gonna smudge the line on both sides. You just wanna use one side and for this, I'm using the left corner when I'm going towards the left side of the C cup. And when I go towards the back of the ear, I'm using the right corner. And you know, just keep repeating that process and don't go higher. If your lever's in the middle, you don't wanna go higher than the middle part. You guys wanna stay locked in and focused. And when you guys open the lever a little bit, go a tiny bit higher and just keep repeating that process, guys. Open the lever, go a tiny bit higher, use the corners of your clippers. And, you know, with time and with consistency, you guys will get it down. But the main thing that you guys want to put in your head is pressure point and just maintaining a, a consistent flow around the whole blend. What I mean by pressure is that the amount of pressure that you guys should be putting when you guys are blending it should all be consistent you guys shouldn't have more pressure applied on certain areas and right here after blending out that first guideline we're gonna go in with our one guard with the lever open and create a guideline that's about a finger thick i had difficulties creating this first guideline because every time i would stroke up with the machine his hair would just move out of place so i just had to kind of flick out and keep flicking out and combing down the hair and just being patient as patient as i could because it was my first time cutting his hair and i just had to adjust to everything and i had to take a little bit longer time when i was doing this haircut but it's all good just do a one finger guideline for this step and i'll show you guys how to blend it out on the next step So once you guys are done setting the guideline, I wanted to show you guys one more time with the red line, the beginning of the guideline, the end of the guideline is with the red marker right there. And the way we soften this guideline out is we close the lever, hit the beginning of the guideline, open it a little bit, go higher, put it in the middle, hit it in, hit it in the middle, 
open it all the way and hit the whole guideline and towards the back of the ear you guys want to follow the same flow because a lot of the times we get confused and we feel like we can go a little bit higher towards the back but you guys have to be very careful when you guys are doing a burst fade towards the back that you guys are staying consistent with the way that th this should be blended out so doing the closed to open method right here with the one guard it's it's gonna soften the guideline but it's not gonna erase it completely so you guys have to put that into account when you guys put in the 0.5 guard on this step we're gonna do the close to open method again to completely erase that guideline right now so first you guys want to focus and identify the guideline first it might be hard because it's already been softened so anything below that yellow line pay attention to it don't pay attention to anything on top of the yellow line because we don't want to take our guard and we don't want to blend anything on top of the yellow line so close the lever hit the beginning of the guideline open it a little bit and then open it a little bit and then open it all the way and keep repeating the same process until everything's nice and blended again guys that red line and the red line above is just the one guard with the lever open i just wanted to condense it and show you guys that when you guys are using the 0.5 guard you guys don't want to go all the way up because it's going to smudge your fade and it's really going to push your blend a little bit higher and it's not going to look as blurry because it's going to just diminish the darkness and the contrast of the fade like i've mentioned before guys when you guys are working with blending guards like the 0.5 or the 1.5 guard you guys want to use the corners of your clippers you guys never want to use the full blade of your clipper when you guys are blending so right here we're going to attach our 1.5 guard and do the closed to open method that we've been doing this whole haircut and just attack that top guideline that darkness that darks those dark spots that you guys see there we want to attack it with the 1.5 guard my lever's closed i'm baby tapping that line and i'm just going and doing and applying the same methods that i've been doing this whole haircut and you guys can see that every single time i comb his hair back with my other hand i'm just trying to get a better look at the fade because like i mentioned every single time i went up and i stroked up the hair would move so i just had a hard time with that and i had to use a lot of the cornering method that i'm going to do right now I'll demonstrate it towards the end of the tutorial but after we finish using our 1.5 guard I'm gonna go in with my shaver usually if you guys have watched any of uh, any other of my tutorials I start with my shaver but whenever I do any low tapers or any low fades I always end with the shaver just because I have more control of where I'm attacking the the bald guideline and I just don't want to take it higher than I'm supposed to so after I'm done with the fade I can just go in with my shaver and I don't have to go higher than I'm supposed to so after we use the shaver I go in with my skeletons and I attack it with my sharpest pairs of trimmers just so I can just redefine that line after we finish that transition guys this is the cornering method a great way you guys can can look at this is whenever you guys use thinning shears you guys are cutting weight with the corners of your clippers and why i like using the gold effects for this is because they're not zero gapped i i didn't zero gap these clippers and also i can hear exactly when it's cutting but whenever i want to get a deeper like a, a more detailed cornering method like towards the those tighter areas i use my magic clip because they have a fade blade and the fade blade is a lot skinnier so i can get in those tight areas you guys can see how blurry this is this thing's coming out and when you flip your machine upside down it's a lot sharper so i just saw a little line that i left with the ball transition that i didn't cover with the skeletons and this is probably the most important part right here towards these tight areas that i had trouble with using the corners of my clippers i'm cutting weight towards the denser side of the fade you know it's a lot harder to get in those areas with your clippers with my, with my 1.5 guard so right here with the straight razor i'm getting rid of any inconsistencies that i didn't cover with my shaver just going above and beyond with the detail of this fade and then just doing more detail work more detail work with my with my babyless gold effects flipping it upside down and just trying to get rid of that ball transition then to line up the back of the neck i attached two hair grippers just to get a better look at the back he wants a rounded um neck lineup so just really be careful towards the back side because it gets really fragile and your my, my clippers are zero gap so just use a very soft touch guys and just doing more detail work going for those darker areas with my shears guys dark areas are your worst enemy when you guys reach that point of the fade when you guys are almost done you guys always want to go in with your comb and do either shear over comb or you know use your thinning shears and here i'm gonna put some can two moisturizing cream on his curls and just kind of crunch up his hair so you know the hair can absorb all the product this is the before guys 
and this is the after after doing every single step in this haircut tutorial you guys will be able to do a mid low burst fade fro hawk on curly hair subscribe like and comment and let me know down below what i can do better for you guys i know that i've been having trouble with my camera with my camera focus but either way i appreciate you guys supporting me since day one 10k subs we're, we're about to be at 100k soon i appreciate you guys for tuning in i'm out of here